How you doing today? Uh, to anybody that found this video, uh, just showing off a cancer status build I came across, and it's a 10 status agendas. Um, the weapon is obviously the tenant agendas, the progenitor element, uh, is radiation. Uh, we have modded for quite a bit. This is a full status build, so no crit here. Um, weapon is innately on it impact electric plus the Akuva element uh, and I have modded for corrosive and heat going to be going up against some Vernier um, just as much status as I can condition overload, weeping, prime reach uh, jugulus uh, voltaic and virulent to get corrosive sack some thorax and molten to boost heat a little bit <clears throat> Uh, I could technically go the 60-60 mod, but just trying to make it proc a little bit more often. Um, and I did run two max rank 60-60s, even though this does mess with our proc ratio. Uh, but because there are so many elements on the weapon, I just feel I need the status chance. Uh, so where do we get our status elements from? Um, we have four innately on the weapon due to modding. Even though the weapon does not have puncture on it because of slam attacks, which Final Harbing Harbinger does have, you can force proc puncture around you in an AoE on slam attacks, which the blocking and forward movement of Final Harbinger does have. Um, and Saxum Thorax. Uh, just to give more status chance again, even though it does uh, play with our ratio a little bit. You can see it boosted a little bit from 120 to 228. Um, the explosion on this deals blast damage. Um, though the proc is unreliable, you do get it occasionally. Uh, so that would give us a couple of procs. And on the stance itself... We have several force slash procs. We have uh, lifted, we have knockdown, and ragdoll. Uh, for a total of 10, which is pretty crazy. I'm um, just going to do a mission, do five minutes, a steel path, Kuva Fortress, uh, on a show that is very heavy on the light show. So enjoy. Just going to show some uh, straight up melee bashing. I'm not going to be doing any. Prime technique or anything. Oh, doing a internal or eternal war neja, arcane strike to get the attack speed up, and eternal war to increase it even further with additional survivability. Uh, basically, just running a rock that has arcane grace and eternal war to just make it as survivable as possible, and also running Panzer uh, for spores. Uh, this is more of a leech build, um, so I'm not running because my is so tanky. Uh, I generally don't run the other preset mod for Martyr Symbiosis because I just don't need it uh, due to the orbs from Nezha's 2 and because of Arcane Grace. Unless I'm doing like a longer run, I would swap it out. But anyway, thank you. Just going to so show some game footage after this. If you're just looking for an interesting build, there you go. Thank you. And again, um, the damage on this isn't going to be too insane. But to be honest, it's not really about the damage. Uh, you're going to do like 6 out of 7 damage. But at the same time, because you do have so many statuses on it, it's not really going to be weak against anything either. Uh, you could run different statuses to deal with corpus, like uh, magnetic toxin or something like that. And obviously the Prime mod would put in work on that in terms of balancing what does proc and what doesn't. 
But I just thought this was pretty fun, having a, a single weapon with so many statuses on it. But anyway, thank you.
resist to strike. Strike to win. Alright, so it's kinda cheesy. Definitely doesn't do a ton of damage. But you get a ton of condition overload procs. Um, so a lot of almost all of your damage comes from um uh, just condition overload being proc so heavily. Uh, built it for corrosive and heat, so it definitely has like bonus damage and uh, it, it, the benefit of it double dipping on corrosive where it ignores the armor and then gets bonus damage. Um, and just because of so many procs, it definitely makes a, a unique light show. Um, to anybody who's honestly taking this build kind of seriously, or at least is interested in um, maybe making this viable, um, I would honestly say try to roll a ribbon with as many statuses on it, as many elements as possible to save mod slots. Uh, run like a utility mod. Uh, I just have a pretty basic one, uh, even after a couple of rolls. Uh, crit chance toxin is probably the best role that I have just because of the riven disposition. I mean, they recently upped it, but just something different so you're not running the standard uh, quick attack combo counter build. Um, and to show that, you know, at least like a full status melee can at least go somewhere. Um, on a weapon that's a little more balanced, where it doesn't have like an insane like forty percent status chance or anything like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, comments leave them in the bottom. I appreciate the feedback. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.